All right, we're gonna start with two blocks of cream cheese directly into the bottom of our disposable baking dish. We're gonna add 16 ounces of cubed pepper jack cheese. This stuff is so good. On top of that, we're gonna add a half of a cup of sour cream. We're just gonna put it right into the bottom here, just like that. And I have two cans of this Southwestern corn. I have drained it. This is the corn with peppers. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of garlic. We're gonna follow behind with one entire jalapeno pepper chopped with the seeds. This is gonna add a little bit of heat. And we have about a fourth a cup of chopped cilantro as well. And we're gonna to top all this with a heavy amount of tahini. Now this is Richard Eats famous street corn dip. This stuff is so good. If you have not made this yet, you gotta try it. I know a lot of you in the comments are gonna say this is not really street corn because it doesn't have mayonnaise and crema and all this stuff, but you know what? Street corn is not a dip, so we had to improvise. We're gonna throw this in the smoker at 250 degrees for about an hour, come back and stir it, then we're gonna add some toppings later. All right, our smoker is preheated to 250 degrees. This thing is roaring. We're gonna slide our street corn dip just to the bottom rack here, close the lid. We're gonna come back in an hour and stir everything up. All right, and after an hour in the smoker, all of our cheese is melted. We're just gonna take our little spoon and mix up that cheese, get all those ingredients incorporated. And you guys, this smells amazing. This smoked street corn dip is gonna be the highlight of your party. My friends absolutely love it and cannot get enough of it. Once you've mixed up the corn and the spices and all that cheese, we're gonna throw it back in the smoker for another hour. Then we're gonna come back and add some toppings. All right, we just finished our second hour of smoking and our corn dip is completely finished. Our cheeses are melted. We're just gonna take our little spatula and just stir this up. There's a little bit of a crust on top, but that mixes up nicely to reveal this beautiful dip below. And once you've fully mixed up your dip, we go ahead and top with a little more tahini. Just a light layer of tahini here on the top. This stuff is so good. We're gonna add a little bit of hot sauce. I have this Mexico Lindo habanero hot sauce. Just gonna drizzle some. This is gonna add a nice little kick to this dish. Gotta add your crumbly Mexican cheese. You can add a little bit of cotilla. I have queso fresca today. You can also use feta cheese, just a little bit on top there. Then we're gonna squeeze two halves of lime. This is gonna give it some delicious flavor here. And lastly, a little bit more cilantro on top. And this thing, is ready to eat, perfect for your backyard party, your cookout, you name it. Just grab a sturdy chip, dig in. Look at that, let's try it out. This is absolutely delicious. 